And so in this conflict between China and India, I look at China and I go, extraordinary numbers, 10% real economic growth over the last 15 years. They are voracious consumers of natural resources. Scary statistic, their spending on national defense increased 14% last year. And, and, and it's sort of a way, when you look at the Chinese economic model, it's an oxymoron. The oxymoron is they are a centrally planned free market economy. Make sense? In the centrally planned free market economy where you've seen massive reallocation of resources and massive movement of population, you've got approximately maybe 450 million Chinese that have been integrated into the industrialized new economy of the global economy. And by the way, one of the side effects is they don't have a good, strong infrastructure, particularly an educational infrastructure. They're great at producing scientists and mathematicians, but someplace they forgot about mid-management. They probably right now have a shortage of 50,000 mid-level managers. China today, of the 16 most polluted, excuse me, of the 20 most polluted cities in the world, China has 16 of them. Because 70% of their energy comes from good old-fashioned coal. The Chinese have got interesting demographic issues. They have a rapidly aging population, thank you to the one-child birth policy. And of course, there you have not yet figured out. How many of you in the room think, for instance, that you can have economic freedom without eventually demanding political freedom? Interesting question. At what point do the Chinese embrace that issue? 